And we are live. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everybody. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Today we're doing more running and bunning, as always. And where are we at? Where are we at? Where are we at? Right. Uh, we need to work on the gauntlet. Ooh. Okay, let me grab my calcs. There we go. Okay, I've already added all the custom sets off stream. So everything is in here. Ready. Good. Then we can start planning. <laughs> Murkrow with wing attack. I mean, I'm thinking Amaura is the play here. It's either Amaura or... Jesus Christ, they have like six water Pokemon, wow. All right. So for Murkrow, uh, gotta move into GBA planning. Uh, move into planning. All right, let's see. So for Amora, refrigerate. Yeah. Let's talk about that stomp. Yeah, let's talk about that stomp normal. Um, let's see where is. Uh, Mark Rock. Alright, alright, so Stomp is guaranteed to get the kill. We're just gonna take Payback. Cool. I can do that. So the first one is gonna be definitely Amaura, which baits Tortuga next for the Mud Shot. Mm. I'm thinking the play there, if it has to resist much shots. Okay, we get Grottle in. I'm pretty sure that Grottle can handle this, right? Mm, against Tortuga, right? Yeah. yeah, it's super fine. Once he loses the Rindo Berry, he, he just straight up dies. Yep. Okay. And then that baits the Skrelp. What do I have that can actually defeat the Skrelp? Water poison, right? So I can bring in my own Palpitoes. Slap, okay. Hmm. I'm thinking it could be Palpitoth. Just mud shotting. Hmm. Let's take a look at that. We've got Skrelp, and then we've got. Okay, I'm in between. This is Water Pulse Acid Toxic. Pidgeotto has HP Ice. Beedrill had HP Electric, but that's not gonna do much. No, it's gonna be Palpitoad, definitely. Much Shot is not in range, unfortunately. Much Shot is not in range to get the kill. But if he wastes a turn doing Toxic, that is okay. Two high rolls and we have a good shot. Hmm. He would see, before I swap out, he would see Tortuga, right? So we can survive a Water Pulse and get a Smackdown. Or even just a Mud Slap. Make my life a little easier and then swap out. Could be. So these three for the first battle, then out comes Marini. And against Marini, we don't really have a good answer. I mean, it could be my own Tortuga. Hmm. 
I don't know how good Psy Wave can be. Like, let's see, Psy Wave can vary. Psy Wave in Gen 5 inflicts damage equal to your level, 17, times a minimum of 50 divided by 100. Damn, so the minimum can be 1 HP. Yeah, that could be really, really bad. Yeah, I don't like that. Amara is not a good option. Growlithe would not be a good option. It could be Herdier with Secret Power. The Secret Power in the building is going to be normal, right? So it's going to do pretty good damage. Well, whatever. Uh, we're not looking at that anymore. Uh, let's take a look at Marini. Marini with a merciless ability. I don't remember what that does. Merciless. Against poison targets, unless you have battle armor or shell armor, you will always crit. Okay. So it's gonna try and do toxics. Of course he can't do anything. Idioto's secret power is not bad. And it's fast enough. Toxic Soak and Baneful Bunker. You can only really attack with... So maybe it's my own Tortuga. Hmm. I think I'm okay with that. I think I'm okay with bringing Tortuga into this. Then what does this bait? This time it should be Frillish immediately, not Whirlipede. Right? Because if he brings Whirlipede against Tortuga... Even though he's faster than me, he's not gonna do that much. Whereas Frillish... Oh yeah. So it should definitely be Frillish coming in with a Shockwave. And if it's Frillish with a Shockwave... At this point I don't really have a good swap. Um, Frillish holding a Lumberry... Recover. Ghost Hidden Power would be crazy. Well, HP Ghost doesn't even do that much. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Frillish is Water Ghost. Water Ghost. Do I have a better answer against Tortuga other than using Grottle? I think Grottle would be better for Frillish. It's not even a question, I need Growlithe against Whirlipede. Mm. With my Skrulp and Poison Point... Well, Poison Point's not gonna work out. Pidgeotto, also not good enough. I don't have a lot of good options for this. I think it's gonna have to be Herdier against Frillish? Nah. That's a terrible idea. Well, actually no. Bite can do a lot. Yeah, definitely the double bite. Gotta pray for no cursed body though. The one issue. Okay. And finally it's gonna be Whirlipede. Who's gonna see Pin Missiles, so it's a good swap into Growlithe. Who can then fire Fang, rollout won't do enough. Even assuming crits. 
Yeah. Even assuming crit on both a Vino Shock and a rollout, it would not be enough to get the kill. Alright, I think this is the team then. Okay, I had considered bringing Tyrog to fake out a rollout. But he is. He will have usefulness when he evolves. Alright. Now, finally for items. Against the Murkrow, it's just healing, right? Against the Skrelp, it needs to be a Petra Berry uh, on the Palpitoads. And against the Tartuga, it's just healing straight up. Then against the Marini, it needs to be a Petra Berry. This is gonna try and soak. Against the Frillish... Mm, nothing. Against the Frillish, it's just healing. Can't get hit by, by Hex, which is great. And against the Whirlipede, it's the risk of getting poisoned. Alright, we're ready. Ready for the gauntlet. Boss number two. Any... Mm. No. Never rely on confusion. There we are. Amaura. We just stop. Easy. You brought Skrelp instead. Why? Why would you do that? Water Pulse. Yep, this is guaranteed Water Pulse. Mm. So I'm gonna need to take a hit here. I don't like it. How much damage can I take with Grottel onto a Water Pulse? It's about 10 to 12 percent. Alright, fine. Okay, and now it's Palpitoth. A shot. Good. This is now... Probably Brine, actually. Let's see, Tortuga into Palpitoth. It's definitely Brine. We're gonna swap to Crottle. Oh, he went Mudshot instead. Alright, uh, raise a leaf you. And now we just absorb. Getting that boost really sucks. But we get the kill. Okay, wasn't that bad. Now, Marini against Amaura. Hmm. Amora, I don't know what how, how people say it. I'm calling it Amaura. This is Vino Shock and nothing else. And we could do Rock Throw for a bit of damage, so I'm staying in. Hell, I can T-Wave. What's your item? It's uh, Black Sludge. I'll T-Wave here. Yep, soaks me so I'm not as resistant anymore. So this is Vino Shock now. And since it is Vino Shock, I could go Palpitoad. I just don't know if it's a good idea. Palpitoad's at 35, 63%. Vino Shock does 10 to 14%. And I'm holding a Petra Berry, sp Petra Berry still. So that's fine. I guess. Question is what does this bait? Because Frillish would see Shockwave on Tortuga. It won't see it on Palpitoad, so it might be Whirlipede. So I'm thinking it's 
Better to go Tortuga here. Venoshock is 15 to 20 percent. Smackdown can do a fair bit. Mm, now that my Amaura has lost the rock thing, Venoshock does double. Amaura's at 37, right? 37. We're never dead to crit here. So it should be safe to just stay in and get another hit. So I'm gonna just rock throw. Uh, which move is stronger now that I am not... I'm water type, right? Rock throw the 17 to 21%, so that's gonna be the one. Does it make sense to decrease your speed instead with Icy Wind? Mm, no. Tortuga's still gonna be slower. Tortuga's 15. I'll just... I'll just rock throw. Okay. Nice para. And this is now Smackdown. Hmm. We're paralyzed. It went Whirly Peed immediately. So this is swapping into Growlithe, get the Intim ready. Okay, now we have to Fire Fang. <sighs> this sucks though. Whirly Peed, rollout is now at... Rollout always multiplies, right? It's 30, 60, 120, 240, and then 480. So this is now 120 rollout into a 240. Mm. On the Tortuga. Yeah, Tortuga on the 120. Tortuga has 38 HP, right? Yeah. That's 84%. So we're gonna lose... We're gonna be at about 24 HP. Uh, what HP is Tortuga again? 38. Okay, so we're gonna be at like 53. So about 54, 24 HP. And then he'll see the kill. You'll need to get the highest of rolls for rollout to get the kill on me. Problem is that Tortuga is not going to be able to do a thing. How about Amaura? No, Amaura is not going to work. No, Amaura is absolutely not going to work. Mm. Rottle at 120. Takes 22 to 28%. He's at minus one, by the way. I haven't calculated that. He is at minus one. So if I bring out Herthier and put him into minus two, it's a little bit more manageable. This didn't crit. Okay. He's about 40% HP right now. His speed is through the freaking roof. The answer here has to be secret power. I don't think we get the kill though. This is rollout at 240. It's gonna be 28% of my HP, 28 to 33. So secret power here. Nice crit! Oh hell yeah! Incoming Frillish. And I'm at 28, exactly as I calced. 28 HP. Incoming Frillish will see Water Pulse, but he will not kill. So we just bite. Get the flinch. Nope. Okay, he is not faster than we are. He has no priority moves. Bite has a great chance to get the kill here. Nice. Holy shit, we're still deathless. Mm. 
Learns charm at 18. <laughs> um, I'll lose icy wind, actually. Sure. Ancient power, hell yeah. This is bubble beam, yep. Roar. Um, no, not this time. Ancient power over Smackdown. No. Brian over the Mud Slap, I guess. Yeah. Hmm. Maybe that was the wrong answer. Or the year wants to learn takedown. No. I don't want to take any recoil. He wants to learn clear smog. We will take that over Lear. Got a Seedra. No focus energy, please. We got a Hitmonchan. Wants to learn Comet Punch. Well, I mean, it's gonna be better than Tackle in a way. Well, not really. Mock Punch, though. Epic. Finally, fighting move. Feather dance, um, that's a good question. Uh, should I lose the hidden power ice? I think it's way more useful. We can always reteach. Water pulse over water gun, yep. And Surskit learns nothing. We already know what we want to do with Surskit. Surskit needs the rare candy. Mm. Oh, yeah, there we go. Psybeam, thank you. That's perfect. Good. Now we need to think about the optional fight because we absolutely need that rare candy. Camper Gavi. Headbutt, Aqua Jet, Pluck, and Super Fang. So against B Barrel. We could be we could be looking into Hitmonchan. I just don't know if you can take a pluck to the face. Forty-one defense. Yeah, that that's pretty bad. I'm pretty sure fake out's not good enough. Could be hurtier. Hmm. Let's think about that. Uh, let's see the barrel against this hurtier. Headbutt does a lot. Wait. It's 21 now. Okay, give me a give me a quick second. I need to update all of these. Twenty-one. Yep, Grottle got the twenty-one too. Well, it's at 21. This is always the annoying bit. Because, you know, I'm not actually using MGBA for this. So as a result, well... You pretty much gotta do this every time. 21, this is now Bubble Beam. Good. Pidgeotto. Uh, you just learned Feather Dance, right? Yeah. You no longer have hidden power ice. Okay. Scrap. Scrap is at 21. This is water pulse. Star you. This is now Psy Beam. Surskit at 21. Yep. I don't think he learned anything. 
Tortuga at 21. What did Tortuga learn again? I give it brine, right, instead of mud slap, that's what happens. And that's a big regret, or at least it might be. Okay, Tortuga and Tyrogue is now a Hitmonchan actually. Okay, we need to add one more to the calc. Hitmonchan at 21 with Inner focus can't be flinched. Okay. Inner focus. A okay, bashful. And this is four, five, eighteen, eighteen again, twenty-three, and eight. Also moves, right. We got fake out into Mac Punch. And hidden power fire. Okay. Fake out into Mac Punch. Get this back on. Okay. Apparently, two mock punches are a guarantee to hit KO. Which is pretty good for me. Yeah, I'm fine with that. This is. The barrel. Okay. It's the barrel doing Super Fang, most likely. Pluck does 30 to 38%. He could try and steal my berry, so I'm just not gonna have anything. The first one's gonna be Hitmonchan. This will bait Ponita for the play rough, which means it's Skrelp. Yep, don't even need to calc that. This baits Electric for the Shockwave. Um, I could bring Palpatine just to bait Mega Drain. But I think I'd rather just bring, just bring this. I don't know how good Growlithe is going to be. Like, how good is Growlithe against the Electric? Shockwave does 25 to 30% and Fire Fang does do a lot. Hmm. No, I'm thinking it's just Growl. Growl with Razor Leaf will do plenty. Yep. This is Citrus Berry. Yeah, so 38 to 46. So assuming I get like 40%, right? It's gonna be at 59%. I will be Toxic, most likely, or Super Fanged, be at 50. What the f fuck? Okay, 51. Well, it probably counts down, right? So I'll be 49. 49 with a Super Fang. Then I'm gonna hit him again for another 38 46. So he's gonna be about 25. The berry kicks in, he heals back to half. I'm definitely gonna need something else besides this. How fast is Palpitoad? Why am I even considering Palpitoad though? not worth it. Um, how about Herdier for this? Yeah, Herdier can switch in and it's not too bad with secret power either. So you'll probably need to give a little bit of backup. Then for Sunflora. For Sunflora the answer is Beedrill always. And against Dust Ox for Venus Shock and Infestation. 
it's either Spadef 27 Pidgeotto or 31. Yeah, thinking that's enough. Let's see, Dustox has way worse defense. My Growlithe can do a lot with Fire Fang. Good. Okay. This is the team then. So Skit stays in the back. He's waiting for the berry. For the berry, for the rare candy. I don't think Rock Ice could have helped me in any situation here. No. Okay, good. Let's talk berries. So, against the barrel, there's nothing. There's only he. Uh, there's not even healing, actually. Probably gonna get stolen anyway. Uh, Ponita. There's a risk of getting burnt. Can't do anything about that. Electric. There's the poison, so give yourself that. Against the Sunflora, there's getting put to sleep. Okay. Petraberry on the Herdier, because he's going to fight the Electric as well. And against the Dust Stocks, yeah, need this one too. Alright, everybody got him, everybody got him. Which other items do I have? Silk Scarf. That'll do. You can take that. Can't get stolen, fake out does way more damage. Well, not way more, just more. Alright, Kemper Gavi. Fake out? Okay, fake out. Dude, what the fuck is this music? Come on, give me something with a little bit more... Uh... Alright. Uh... Now we're talking. Mock Punch? Yeah. Ooh, nice! Incoming Ponita for the player off, so this is Poison Point. Didn't trigger. Okay, that's unlucky. We will just Water Pulse. Nice! Ah, not good enough. Okay. Electric for the Shock. Okay, this is Razor Leaf, right? Yeah. Shockwave and Mega Drain cannot kill me. Nice crit! Wow. Okay, at 16 HP... I'm at 23% now. The stock sees a kill. This is guaranteed Vino Shock. Okay, could I hard swap into Growlithe here? Is the question. Vino Shock is 22 to 27. And I'm faster, so there are advantages. Do it. Okay. Good. Incoming Sunflora, we swap into Beedrill because this is most definitely Sludge Bomb. Yep. So we will just Bug Bite, right? Yeah. Awesome. Um, who had Paralysis? Was it Amaura? Don't do it. Uh, maybe you have something. Nah. Okay. So this is just hard Pokeballs. Let me buy some. About 15 of them is fine. Thank you for the rare candy. Appreciate it. 
I have the damn, um, I have the repellent, yep. Mary, okay, okay. Good. Okay, okay. Could be useful. Has static, probably. So give me this, and we already know we want to use the rare candy on Surskit. So, endless candy on you. Shockwave over Thunder Shock. Hey, we got Fluffy. Thunder Punch. Button Spore. Yeah, we take that. Yeah, this is fine. And now for the moment of truth. It is now bug flying. I don't think I want scary face, but I do want air cutter. Even over quick attack. Yeah. Good. Before I forget, I have a Stardust. Yeah. Sure thing. Now we're free to go down here, and it's brawly time. Well, not really brawly, just the gym. Uh, <clears throat> Let's talk gym. First up is Battle Girl Laura. Doesn't have to be, though. I could always fight something else, but it's okay. Riolu, Force Palm and Body Slam and nothing else. I guess the only questions that we want now is... The only questions we have is, can Masquerain just wipe this thing? Um, I'm gonna need to create one. Uh, Masquerain. I need to make a set for that one. 22, 100% on both. And show me Masquerain. Intimidate, bug flying, relaxed, okay. So this is Intim. Relaxed nature. Which is minus speed, by the way. 17, 4, 21, 12. Okay. 31 in special defense. Okay, 12, there we go. So that's our stats. And moves is HP fire. Air Cutter, Struggle Bug, and Bubble Beam. Okay. Sport. Save it. Good. Uh, now this is against Riolu. Oh yeah. We're faster, Air Cutter wipes. That guy. Awesome. After Riolu, we... Well, it's either or. It's gonna be Stuffle or Mankey. Let's see. Stuffle's not faster, but Mankey probably is. Mankey is speed tithe. It could be Mankey up first. Doesn't matter. Still dies. Still can't kill us. And Stuffle... Stuffle just dies. So because it's slower than me and dies, Stuffle is not gonna come out. It's gonna be Mankey first because it's speed tithe. Okay. So this is just straight up Masquerain cleaning the field. Now, in case that doesn't happen, we're gonna need some... some protection. Let me bring Pidgeotto just in case. I'm fine with bringing Fluffy, Skrelp. Yeah, this is about okay. Bring me Staryu as well. Instead of... you. Are you static? Yeah, you're static. This is Masquerain up first. Pretty sure I don't have don't have any good items for you. Yeah. So this is just Oran berries for everyone. Good. 
Battle number one. Mm hmm. Mascarain Air Cutter. Good. Nice crit. This is Mankey. Yep. We won the speed tie. And this is Stuffle. Still dies. Easy. Alright, next one. <laughs> so much easier when you have Masquerade. Oh god. Okay, so next up is what? Sailor Brendan with the far-fetched Galarian and the Heracross. Okay. So if I have Masquerade and you're bringing me the Galarian far-fetched. 96 to 119%. Most rolls get the kill. It's a 93.8 chance. 93.8% chance to Oko. Otherwise we get hit with a dual wing beat, which is gonna do a lot of damage to us. But a crit cannot kill us. Then out comes Heracross. I guess... Uh, which is faster than we are. Best thing you can do is pin missile. But the air cutter is guaranteed to get the kill. Uh, what if I need to swap into Pidgeotto? We will suffer. We swap into Pidgeotto. Okay, but maybe Grottle could also... No, Grottle can't do shit. Hmm. How about Skrelp? Skrelp would be kind of okay. It's a bit of a battle of attrition there. Seedra is not bad, I guess. Hmm. Okay, so I'm gonna bring... Let's see. This is speed 47, by the way. I'd be speed type with Staryu. While being water type, which is not bad. Yeah, I'll take the team as is. Everybody has Orans, everybody has Orans. Got the Masquerade on first. This is Air Cutter, right? Uh, what does Farfetch do? Galarian? Oh, it's in a focus, that's all. For a moment I thought it was Intimidate. Goes for the quick attack. Okay. I'm now 66. No. I'm now 58 HP. 88% against the Heracross. Oh, we're super fine. He's dead. Okay, gets a bunch of hits. Doesn't matter. Pokeross? Hey, yo! Who? Hey, yo! What does it mean? I can't get EVs! <laughs> Damn, everybody's infected with this shit. Alright. Holy shit! <laughs> Alright. Uh... Hmm. What's next? Makuhita! Okay. Makuhita is just dead immediately. He's gonna bullet punch. Well, he could also... F he could fake out bullet punch, actually. Hmm. Nah, he sees a kill with rock throw. That doesn't make sense. I guess I could bring in Amaura first, which baits Arm Thrust after the fake out, but does he even fake out if he sees a kill? Okay. Masquerade, we take 13 to 16% damage, and we kill the Makuhita. Then it's gonna be 
Mankey, who is faster than we are, but he can't do anything. So I'd need to do Struggle Bug just to break him. To be wary of reversal, and then we air cutter. Yeah. It would have to be like that. Levian, on the other hand, sees its random move between Thunder Punch or Ice Punch. So this could be a swap into, for example, Palpitoad. We do have HP flying. Are these moves correct in my calcs? Bubble Beam, Hidden Power, Mud Shot. Yeah. They are. Mm. I can also get an Intim with Herthier. It baits Drain Punch. So after that I could bring in, for example, the Beedrill. And do plucks. Yep, I like that. So let's bring out the bee drill. I'll bring out the palpitoad as well. Just in case. Mm hmm. So the plan is Masquerade gets the Makuhita and the Mankey. And against the Levian, I swap into Herthier, get an Intim off, Bates Drain Punch, gets Beedrill in. And if we're in any trouble, we can bring other stuff. Okay. Okay, we have a bunch of Mons without the right stuff. Okay, and I think this is it. Yeah. Battle Girl Lilith. Okay, and we will just air cut her here. Yep, fakes out. He did go for the bullet punch. He knew he was gonna die. Mankey here is struggle bug because of reversal. This is Levian. Now double check. Thunder or Ice. It should never be Drain Punch. It's it's the least damaging move. Well, not really. Mach Punch could be even more. Uh, what if it's Mach Punch? Because no, Air Cutter can never kill you. Air Cutter will never ever kill you. And even if I swap into her, the ear, it doesn't matter. Okay, get the minus one off. Thunder Punch, yep. Okay, now it's Drain Punch. Yep. So we will just pluck. Done. Alright. Um... Now we need to avoid the double battle. So I need to go to battle Black Belt Christian. Okay. Let's take a look at Masquerade, as is tradition. Masquerade into a Meditite. No, it's not a kill. Absolutely not. Okay, we can't use Masquerade here. Show me my Pidgeotto. Not good enough either. And I'm not as fast, so I can't exactly Feather Dance. I mean, I live a crit. Unless, well, if he crits Brick Break though. Hmm. Okay. We need to take some more time planning this one. Grottle Razor Leaf does do a lot. He can never crit us. So I'm thinking... 
double razor leaf and we end it. Okay, then we're gonna need to swap out. It's Machoke or Girder. It's gonna be Machoke? No. It could be either or. Either way. Machoke has Vital Throw and Facade. So I'm thinking if I swap here into Masquerade and get him into minus one. Yeah, that'll do. Air Cutter will do a lot. Okay, and then Girder comes in. Girder has Rock Throw. And we are not, not in range to kill. So I should not swap. Um, if I tank into something that is rock type. If I swap in a, a rock type into a rock move, does it work? No. But the ground type does. So into Girder, I could bring Palpitoes. If I see it's rock throw, I'm faster. So I could do HP flying. Okay, so Palpitoad can do some damage, we already know. I don't even need to calc to know I'm bringing Seedra. It's bulky. Mm. Giotto, I need Grottle. How good is Flaffy's bulk? 25? Hmm. I definitely need you. Even over Pidgeotto. So it's gonna be Grottle. Swapping into a couple of these. Right. We just care about foreign berries. Good. I think that's about it with these guys. Yep. So first we go to the left. Brottle in first to handle the Meditite with... with Razor Leaves. Yep. Yep, takes me out. That's fine. Okay, 35 HP. He can never crit. 51%. Um, yeah, this is Brick Break. It's gonna leave me at... It's gonna leave me with about 7 HP, which then triggers the berry. Okay, 11. He did not find the high roll. So I'm now 21. So that's 30% of my HP. He brought out Machoke. So he only sees a kill if he gets a very high vital throw. He might find the roll. So this is swapping into Masquerade. Put you into minus 1. Which means vital throw will do 4.5 to 6%. Good. Here we will just air cutter. Yeah, we're faster. Air cutter is 77 to 90%. Okay. And now Girder. And I'm at 53 HP. 80%. A rock throw crit will kill me and... I have a 31% chance to Oko, so it's not worth it. This is guaranteed rock throw now. So I swap in two. Mm, could Hitmonchan actually... No, not really. Hitmonchan doesn't really handle this. Palpitoad can do some damage first with HP flying. Yep. Get Palpito then. 
Goes in for the mock punch. Okay, this is HP flying, always. Gets a low sweep off. Okay. 42%, low sweep, high roll can kill me. So this is guaranteed low sweep. Swap the Mascarene and get the Intim off. Question mark. Yeah, he can only see a kill with low sweep, it's the highest base move. Mascarene. You're now minus one. Good. Hmm. So into Mascarene, this is now 42 to 45. Doesn't matter. If he crits, I'm dead and we cannot lose the Mascarene. So I'm thinking of just going Seedra even without Calking. Forty-nine defense has to be good enough. It's literally the highest defense. Okay, we will just bubble beam here. Good, got the crit. Nice. Next up is Black Belt Takao. Realm. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. Realm is what you see, really. Um. <laughs> okay, masquerading into Realm then. Well, I'm not faster, so this is either Bullet Seed or Spore. Air Cutter just wipes him off the face of the earth. Then it's Mian Fu because it has Rock Slide, right? No. Mian Fu is slower and just dies. Wait, I got the wrong Mian Fu in my calcs. Mian Fu is still slower and still dies. So I'm guessing it's Baneri? Oh yeah. It's gonna be Baneri with Triple Axel. Triple Axel is an ice move. Take out jump kick. I'm thinking it could be Skrelp. A Skrelp swap here. Good work. This is water pulses all the way. Um, I'm not sure if um, Fluffy has really low defense. It's really bad. Let me see. Um... Get all of my Pokemon on the box. Okay, we already know Masquerade goes in first. We never use a Maura, so. So this is Masquerade first. And when Baneri comes out, Skrelp should be one, because it's part poison. Right, Skrelp can do some hits, but he's not going to be able to finish it off. At least I don't think so. Triple Axel does too much on the beat roll. Growlithe can kind of sort of take this. Just a shame we can't avoid jump kick with protect or something. Hmm. Yeah, we can use Growlithe. And benefit from Intim. So if I hard swap Masquerade into Growlithe and put you into minus one, I'm gonna take a triple axle to the face, which is 10 to 15 percent. Mm, fake out? No, it's gonna be. I'm gonna end up swapping into fake out, which is 12 to 17. Doesn't matter. Jump kick can never miss, by the way, because this Baneri has um. Is holding a wide lens. So keep Skrulp in the back just in case. Against the Mi and Fu. I think I need Herthier just to bait a fighting move. Herthier on 
on the Mian Fu. Right, if it's rock slide it's 20 to 25, it's, if it's fake out it's 11 to 14, either way we survive and then it's drain punch. So we might want to, we might not want Growlithe to finish it off, we might need Scrub to do it. Just to make sure that it's fake out or rock slide. If it's Growlithe against the... Um, against the Mianfu, it's still gonna be rock slide actually. It's still gonna be rock slide. Okay, so it doesn't change what I need to do. Okay, then just in case we keep Grottle in the back. And I'm thinking Seedra. Okay. Good. There you go. As for berries, we will just care about getting put to sleep first turn by the Brelum. Other than that, it's business as usual. Good. Just make sure you have the chest though. Yes, you do. Are you faster than Brelum? Okay, you're not faster than Brelum. Wait, I'm looking at the wrong one. You're not faster than Brelum, but it doesn't matter. Okay, wake up slap, bullet seed, mock punch, it, it really doesn't matter. Okay. This is in Tim off, air cutter, yep, goes for the spore, done. Baneary. Right. Triple Axel crit is in range to kill, but this is probably fake out. So. Hmm. I guess I can bring Skrelp first. Maybe get the poison point off if I can. Yeah, I mean, Skrelp is okay. Weirdly enough, between Jump Kick and Triple Axel, Triple Axel does more. Okay. Bring out Skrulp. It didn't trigger. Triple Axel. It's fine. We can take another one, right? We're at 30 HP. 57%. Yeah, it doesn't matter. It's... Okay. Swap into Growlithe here. Get an Intim. We fire Fang. Good. Now, Growlithe against the Mian Fu here. He will see a kill immediately with Rock Slide. Because I am at 35, right? 60%. This could be Rock Punch. Okay. This is Drain Punch or Rock Slide. It could be random move here. If he gets a really high Drain Punch. Mm, I gotta risk it. Let's get the Intim off. Earlier. Not lowered, but it's Rock Slide. Good. Okay, so Herdier at 50 HP, this always baits Drain Punch. So now I can swap into Masquerain, right? Masquerain is faster by one point. And Air Cutter will just straight up kill. But... Let's... 
Awesome. Woo! Okay, everybody goes back to the box. So glad Masquerine is popping off. Okay, our box is looking good, god damn. That's what you get when, not when nothing dies. Um, next battle. Battle girl Jocelyn. Yeah, this one's gonna be a little bit trickier. Hmm. I can fake out Mach Punch the Kecleon, that's probably gonna be enough. So Cacleon starts off as normal, and if I fake out holding a Silk Scarf... Hmm. It's a guarantee to hit KO. 69 plus 26, that's 95. We will never kill. Could also be T Wave. So I might as well hold a Cherry Berry instead. Fake out double Mach Punch. So I fake out Mach Punch. He Thunder Waves our attacks, doesn't matter. Then we do another Mach Punch, and he. Since he's gonna change typing. Let's say it's gonna be water. So after 23 and 69 percent, yeah, it doesn't matter, he just dies. Okay, so Hitmonchan is going to be first. Solarity of Trinity has become a bolt of lightning. Thank you for the follow. Okay, so we're, we're going to put Hitmonchan up first. This is going to bait... Hmm... Pokeros is only good when building comp teams. <laughs> I mean, it's only good if you even have EVs, right? It does nothing. <laughs> um, Gullet, Pig Knight, and Hakamo. -o. How fast is my Hitmonchan? 38. So I'm guessing this is gonna be the absolute fastest. Unless he sees the ghost typing in Gullet. I guess it could be Gullet. Let's see the damage that they, that they do. Gullet on Hitmonchan. Yeah, have to. Gullet on Hitmonchan sees 42%. If we go Pig Knight, doesn't see as much. And it's slower, right? No, it's actually a little bit faster. Okay, but I don't do as much damage. Um, and Hakamo-O, I'm pretty sure he is... Doesn't do as much, so it's just straight up by order. He's gonna bring out Gullet next. So after Hitmonchan, if we have to face against Gullet, the better play Shadow Punch and Drain Punch. Mm. It might need to be Grottle. Let's swap. Let's check out Grottle. Uh, oh yeah, two Razor Leaves. He's down. Yep, he can never crit. Because we're a shell armor. That will do. And yep, Grottle goes in on the goes in on that. Then we've got this will absolutely bait Pig Knight with Incinerate. So if we just Pig Knight, Incinerate does the most damage, so whatever I swap in cannot have a berry. Arm thrust and take down. So I'm thinking it could be again with a palpitoth. 34 or the Cedra. The Cedra does have more defense. 49. I don't have Cedra on the calcs. Okay. okay so we've got a Cedra at 21. This thing is already fighting time. No, I don't think I'm gonna be able to use Masquerade here. 
Yeah, let me check. Uh, let me check Cedro. Sniper, brave. Okay. Sniper, brave nature, and 22, 30 in attack. 23, nine. <laughs> Just the one I need. 26 and four. And your moves are bubble beam and what else? It's bubble beam, HP rock. Clear Smog and Twister. Uh, hmm. I don't know if Twister is going to be useful. Against Hakamoo? Hmm. Okay, let's see. Seedra over here. Bubble Beam does a lot. Yeah, it swaps quite nicely. Yeah, so this is definitely Seedra. So Seedra is going to face the Pig Knight. Then comes Hakamoo. This is Dragon Breath, Dragon Tail, Iron Defense and Protect, so... Kamo-O. He sees more damage with Dragon Breath. I can probably stay in and twist her once. I can't... I have no Steel, no Fairy types, so whatever swaps in will need to take it. Let's see if her Deer can tank it. I have Covet. Perfect. Her Deer Covet. Awesome. That's the play. In case shit hits the fan, what can we do? Masquerine with air cutter does a lot on Hakamoo, so you're coming with. Uh, and I'm guessing I wanna I want Growlithe for pivots within Tim. Either that or Palpitoad. I think Palpitoad's gonna have. I'll bring the Intim, sure. Okay, we got it. against paralysis scarlet we just care about healing yep ignites i'm gonna swap into something that's gonna lose a berry so no point there what do i have that could nothing okay nothing helps me out but then you fight without no point in wasting a berry incinerate permanently burns our berries so there's that. Then Hakamoo comes in and we just care about healing for everybody else. I could also swap Growlithe instead of Seedra, get an Intim off. No, then I take more damage with a takedown. Yep, it don't matter. Alright, off we go. Battle girl Jocelyn would like to battle. Okay, first we fake out, right? Then we mock punch. Mm -hmm. Electric type. Yep, just as I thought. ET waves. Great job. This is Gollet immediately. Yep. Hitmonchan into Gollet. He was seeing what? This is Shadow Punch, right? I could get a free switch. Yeah, if this is Shadow Punch, I could get Herdier, which baits Drain Punch. Then I can bring Grottle, which takes a Drain Punch much better than a Shadow Punch. 
Yeah. So this is actually her the urine. Get that intim off. Shadow punch doesn't do doesn't work. And now we bring up the grotto. And this is raise a leaf immediately. Easy. This is incinerate pig knight. Oh yeah. Uh, 29 defense though. Sea throw on the pig knight. Would we take takedown better? No. No, incinerate's okay. Hmm? I'm now at 48. He got a mid roll. He could have done 15 to 20%. He did 17 ish. So this is now takedown. That's okay. Bubble Beam nearly kills, right? It's 76 to 95. He might even kill himself. He went for the flame charge. Never mind. Okay, Hakamo, and I'm 23. Well, if this is just. Well, if this is just highest roll, he can never. We never die by Dragon Tail. This has to be Dragon Breath. Hmm... Well, I'm thinking... Do I want to swap Masquerade immediately? No, 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 this is covered. Goes for the Iron Defense. Okay, that changes everything. He's plus two now. Plus two defense, minus one attack. Covet now will do half at its highest roll. Smoke him if you got him. Dragon Breath, good. Nice. And that's it. Now it's the hardest planning of them all. Okay. We've only beaten Brawly once, and it was not clean. He he got five of them, five, five Pokemon. So we're gonna need to be much smarter about this. But to be fair, we are deathless, okay? We're deathless, we have a Masquerade. The, this, this time it's going much better, much better. To be honest, my first order of business is, can I one-shot that Kupfu? Oh really, I'm not faster. I'm minus speed on this. Brick Break, Mega Punch, Zen Headbutt, and Sucker Punch. Okay, we need to swap into Calking now. So, first things first. Kupfu. Into Masquerade, right? Okay, before I do anything, do I have everybody in the Calks? Let's see, I have Amaura. I don't have a Fluffy. I need, I need to include that. Fluffy at 21. Let's add you. Static Gentle Nature, which is plus Pedef. Hmm, it's okay, I guess. Gentle. Static. And this is Thunder Punch. Whoops. Dude, can you freaking get the Thunder Punch, please? Thank you. Okay. Thunder Wave. This is. What else do you have? Okay, Growl and Cotton Spore. We don't need. We don't need that. Ballots. We got the Skrelp, we got Tortuga, Beedrill, Staryu, Palpitoad, Pidgeotto, Hitmonchan, right? Yep, Pidgeotto, Hitmonchan, Grottle, Seedra. Do I have Seedra? Yes. Okay, we have everybody. 
Now the calculations can begin. Well, it is in range. But... But, but, but... Masquerain, please. No, not Masquerain. Kopfu. So this is between Mega Punch and Zen Headbutt. Random move. Hmm. Anything faster than 37 is gonna pop up, pop up into the field. So this could be Hitmontop for the Rock Slides. Could be Low Punny. And I don't have quick attack anymore. Mm, maybe we don't want to leave with Masquerade. Mm. Who got the bulk? Well, it's between Seedra and Hitmonchan here. Money on my motherfucking mind. Growlithe with the Intim is not that crazy. Might even bait Poliwhirl and change things up a little bit. Hmm. Okay, if I look purely at mons that we cannot bring, for example, we cannot bring Tortuga or Amaura. Herdier, I don't know. There are at least three mons that we don't care about. So let's get back here. This gym gonna be crazy. And I want to win without five losses. Brick break mega punch is that but sucker punch. Inner focus too, so there's not even a point in intimidates. suppose there's a hidden a hidden water stone somewhere no I'm gonna quickly check and I'm also assuming I didn't forget to get any capture no we got the rot 110 already uh, oh yeah water stones only sold at Marvel damn Oh hell no, Staryu does not work. I'm gonna actually go through every every single Pokemon I have just to get an idea. Beedrill, can't use it. Fluffy is not a good idea. Grottle fights decently, but I, I need Grottle for the Poliwhirl, I think. Is Poliwhirl fighting? I don't think so. No, pure water. Mm, it's not a good idea to bring Grottle in though. So I might consider using Grottle for Kubfu. Mm. Preferably get something... Get an Intim off that discourages it from Brick Break. I can't get Intim. What the hell am I saying? Growlithe, nope, we take too much damage. Earlier, there's no fucking way, right? Yeah. Hitmonchan, not a good idea. Horsey, we don't have anymore. It still feels like Masquerade's the better play. Because everything else feels like a battle, a battle of attrition. Not with that Zen headbutt. If Star Use not a good idea, we don't have Surskid anymore. 
Tortuga, and we don't have Tyrog. Feels like it should be Masquerade, which means we're taking 25 to 31, and then a Sucker Punch, right? If he survives. If it is Sucker Punch, maybe I can swap into something else? Do I still have Quick Attack on you? Yes. So that could work. So Masquerade into Pidgeotto. And if this baits low punny because of Retaliate, we just quick attack anyways. So it's not gonna be low punny. I think I need to bring Amaura or Tortuga just to tank the Retaliate. Defense 29. Yeah, it's gotta be you. I'm gonna need Tortuga just to tank Retaliates. Which then baits a fighting move. Hmm. Okay, so after Pidgeotto, I'd say it's either Combuscan or Hitmontop. Pidgeotto has 35 speed, so it's gonna be Hitmontop because it's faster. Hmm. So Pidgeotto attack 20 to 25 percent that'll do gets to kill the cup through we will be at like 65 percent so if it's low punny it doesn't even matter we're gonna waste the eject button the only question then is combuscan sees a kill potentially 63 to 76 hit on top also sees a kill even more guaranteed also it's it's faster Whereas Combuscan is slower, so he's he's gonna prioritize Hitmontop, almost certain. Holy World also does a lot of damage. Okay. If it is Poliwhirl into an Ice Beam, I can bait a fighting type move. It's still not gonna help me. If it is Hitmontop into Rock Slide, what do we do? Hitmontop into Rock Slide. Let's assume it's gonna be Hitmontop. If it is Hitmontop trying to do a Rock Slide, this should be swapping into... Possibly Hitmonchan. But that just breaks... That's just regular Brick Break. Is this the point where we bring out Seedra? Could be. This could be the point where we do it, because Rock Slide is 25. Bubble Beam is okay. Hmm. Either that or Static, but Fluffy has really low defense. Yeah, Fluffy takes a lot. We don't have a lot of ways to resist the rock type moves. I can bring out Herdier into a rock slide. Herdier puts him at minus one, right? This baits Brick Break, so then it's Masquerade into the Hitmon top and he'll be at minus two. Then it's gonna be Rock Slide again. I'm gonna put him into minus three onto the Herdier. At this point we've taken a fair, fair amount of damage. Hmm. Hmm. And then I guess I could swap into... Hmm, swapping into Masquerade might be too much. I think I can keep him into minus two by swapping Masquerade in, baiting the Rock Slide, and then I bring Hitmonchan. And I can fake out Mach Punch a few times. 
It's probably not guaranteed to get the kill, though. If I can get the poison point off of off with Skrelp... Um... Skrelp does not take that much. Damn, my head hurts. Um... Okay, let's forget the hit on top for now. Who fights Poliwhirl? Poliwhirl with Bubble Beam, Ice Beam, HP Grass, and Super Power. It's gonna have to be Skrelp, right? Skrelp against Poliwhirl. Oh yeah, absolutely. And this is HP Poison. Yeah. This is Skrelp onto Poliwhirl. Scraggy is speed 31. Earthier is also 31. Un unlucky. Scraggy, faint attack, power up punch, rock tomb. Masquerade cannot wipe you. Hitmonchan. Hitmonchan could do a fair bit. Muck punches into you. Yeah, that's not bad. It kind of forces you to do power-up punches, though. So if I were to jump in, say you were doing Faint Attack or Rock Tomb, I fake you out, you will be, worst case scenario, 90%. Then I Muck Punch. Which is a guaranteed 3-hit KO. Right? So I hit you once. You power up punch, and you get plus one. Hit you again, you power up punch. Okay, so I'm probably gonna need Hitmonchan at full HP to pull that off. Hmm. And I'm still forgetting about the retaliate issue. Hmm. And the Combuscan issue as well. The best play for Combuscan is to bring out Palpitoth. No Thunder Punch, you will only double kick. Palpitoth on the Combuscan. Hmm. 35 to 48. 35 to 44, I mean. Okay, if he gets a crit off, it just procs the berry. So I could mud shot once, because we're speed tithe, and then I bubble beam. Yeah, you work against Combuskin. Now this one is higher, higher statuses. We're cooking, we're cooking. We just need a little bit more time. Uh. <clears throat> hmm. I think I'm gonna need Masquerade to just attack the Kubfu and be done with it. And then I can't use Masquerade anymore? Is there a point to proccing Thunder Wave? No. We're forgetting Beedrill Pluck. And I've already thought of Hitmonchan for low punny, right? No. I haven't thought of anything to face the low punny. Against low punny I would need... First I need to tank the Retaliate that comes in. Oh god. Um, a low punny with retaliate at 140. It does not kill, actually. It just does a lot of damage. Well, depending on the Pokemon, of course. 
Yeah, the reason why I have quick attack is to get rid of that eject card. Do I have any other priority moves? Hmm. No. Okay, I'm thinking things get easier if I reteach quick attack instead of HP fire. It means I'm gonna waste a hard scale. I just need to be make sure about the plan. So if we use masquerade against the Cub Fu, we're talking about losing about. Okay, 68 into a Sucker Punch, which is 27, so I'm gonna be at 41, the Berry Prox, healing me for 10 HP. So I'm gonna be about 37, when I inevitably kill this guy. Then I'm assuming it's Low Punny coming in, because Low Punny should see a kill. And it's faster, right? So Low Punny with Retaliate at 140. It sees a kill, and it's the fastest one. How fast uh, is the Masquerade? I keep forgetting. 37. 37, so it's never gonna be Combuskin, it's never gonna be Scraggy. It's Poliwhirl, Hitmontop or Lopunny, and if it's Lopunny I get the quick attack off, and something else needs to come out. Hitmontop or Poliwhirl. Um, so if it is Poliwhirl, it's gonna have to be Skrelp. We've already decided on this. Poliwhirl against the Skrelp. Exactly. And it's gonna be spamming HP poisons. Literally his best move is superpower. We bait him into lowering his special defense every time. So HP poison could potentially kill in two turns. Well, three. Yeah, it's gonna kill in three turns. Okay, so we've decided it's gonna be Skrelp against the Poliwhirl. This will then bait... Probably Combuskin. Actually, I'm not sure. It could be Lopunny again. That's the problem with the Retaliate. It could be low punny again. So let's assume that I bring out Tortuga in the back just to tank that crap. So 140 on Tortuga. Yeah, 22 to 28. It can tank a few. Alright, and Bates Drain Punch then. Which means it could be a swap to... Swap to Masquerade's a bad, a bad idea. It's gonna be Drain Punch after. Hmm, I could consider bringing Beedrill as well. Because against Beedrill, you cannot use... It's gonna be Headbutt, right? No, it's gonna be Drain Punch, which is 8.1 to 9.8 on me. Bug Bite will do exactly nothing. And Retaliate Headbutt will do a lot. Mm, we haven't spoken about Grottle. So maybe it could be Grottle against Lopunny instead. Yeah, Razor Leaf does a hefty amount. So it might be Grottle. Yeah, exactly. Might be Grottle on you. So, the plan was Masquerade, right? We need to teach it Quick Attack, let's not forget that. Kill, kill the Kupfu. Ideally hit the range, but it's too unlikely. Um, if Lopunny comes in with just Quick Attack, it doesn't matter, we waste the Eject button. Incoming, if it's Poliwhirl, we already know it's Skrelp. If it's, um... And after we kill the Poliwhirl, it's gonna be Combuskin for the Thunder Punch, potentially. 
but more likely would be low punny for the retaliate it would see more damage so then i would swap into tortuga to tank it and then into grottle to actually kill it which baits combuscan and for combuscan we already know it's palpitoad then we need an answer for scraggy and hitmontop i still don't have an answer for two this whole gymnastics is just to survive four of them. And I'm already at five Pokemon. Hmm. I'm standing here thinking if I don't want Seedra. Well. Hmm. I'm only bringing one into Muser. If it is Hitmontop, Inner Focus prevents flinching. I mean, Hitmontop's not good enough. And there's still the Scraggy to worry about. Air Cutter is 57 to 60, 67, but I'm not faster. And against Scraggy. I am faster if I bring out Scraggy. If he brings out Scraggy, Masquerade is faster, but I do need to pre-damage it some way, somehow. Hmm. I want to avoid sacking, though. I don't think I've seen a run where people haven't sacked. Would I sack Beedrill at this point? I don't want to think about sacking, there has to be another way. Let's assume another situation. What if instead of Cub Fu, Lopunny, etc., it's actually Combuscan instead of... It's Combuscan? No, it's gonna be Hitmontop instead of Poliwhirl. If it is Hitmontop doing a Rock Slide. How does Hitmonchan fare? Oh. <clears throat> Hitmonchan against Hitmontop. Brick Break does a lot. Like a lot. Okay, I'm gonna do one thing. Um... I want to check for move reminders. Maybe I'm missing something that can save us. Okay, I do have a heart scale, so that is a thing we can do. We don't have the guts ability, so statuses are no points. Okay, remember a move. Prowl. Okay, it don't matter for you. Nope. Uh-uh. Nope. U-turn. Okay, U-turn is interesting, but against fighters, I mm, don't think so. Okay, we only have one heart scale, we need to be very careful about this. is assuming I even bring Hitmonchan. Um, we've already checked Staryu, right? Okay, I don't remember which ones I've checked. Beedrill, I've checked Beedrill. Okay. Earlier nothing. Same thing with Pidgeotto. Same thing with Staryu. Camouflage would turn me into what if I went star you? It's not bulky enough anyway. Camouflage. Inside the building is just a normal type, it's not gonna work out. Okay, let's take the wonder team over here. 
see what what they can do. Let's check out the move tutor. It might be Tor Tortuga sack in this gym. I don't know. Mascarine has Whirlwind, Roost, Ice Beam, and Giga Drain. Are you kidding me? Damn, son. And I want to teach you Quick Attack. Yeah, because that is that is what you need. though if I roost that protects me from rock slide being hyper effective it becomes super effective other than that hmm okay something to consider crottle nope palpitoad nope focus punch wow yeah that's not gonna do Wait, what was that? The user flinches if hit. Okay, focus punch takes two turns, right? And then Tortuga. Hmm. Maybe I need to change how I'm thinking about this. What if I don't teach it quick attack? And instead swap... Swap into Tortuga to tank it, because then it can Aqua Jet, right? Yeah. Hmm. Let's see. Masquerade, Grottle, Palpitoad, Hitmonchan, Scrub. If I can get the kill here, there's no point in learning Ice Beam or anything like that, right? Hmm. I could lose Bubble Beam and learn something else. Could be Ice Beam, could be Giga Drain. I think I want to save it. If Masquerade kills Cub Food, then Low Punny comes in for Retaliate. I swap into Tortuga, Aqua Jet, boom. What comes next? At 17 speed, could be Combuscan for Thunder Punch. Could be any of them. It's random. Hmm. It's gonna be rough. Guys, I'll tell you what. I'm gonna think about this. I think I'm gonna think about this tomorrow. Raleigh is just too rough! Raleigh is just way too rough, and I really don't want to get five deaths again. So, I think I'm gonna think about this off stream, and tomorrow we'll have a proper plan. So, thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the stream. I'm gonna be live tomorrow, this time at 6 pm Central European time. Today I couldn't. Uh, tomorrow at 6 pm, we're gonna continue this and hopefully get all the way to Roxanne. Without an ice type against Zygarde. Yeah, that's gonna be fun too. Because Amaura can't handle it. Alright. Anyway. Once again, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye! Just let's see if there's anybody... Anybody streaming this game. Is Dexa still alive? Hell yeah, he is. Good. We can go on to Dexa then. Let's raid him. Coolio. Alright, uh, once again, thank you for watching. See you tomorrow, 6 p.m. Central European time.